Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on NASA TV. We're live in the International Space Station Flight Control Room, and it's my pleasure this morning to be joined by the new Space Station Program Manager, Kirk Shireman. Thanks so much. Uh, great. Uh, it's nice to be here. I'm, uh, I'm glad to be here and talk about the International Space Station. Yeah, which you're very familiar with. For seven years, you served as the Deputy Program Manager, and then you uh, went on to take the role as the Deputy Center Director here at Johnson Space Center. And as of just a few weeks ago, three weeks ago, I think you said, um, you are now serving as the Program Manager for the International Space Station Program. Can you tell us what it's like to be working back at the program level? Uh, well, it's it's uh, funny. In one sense, it's like coming home. I spent actually, um, I spent 20 years of my life working on the International Space Station before I left, and so you know the, the people that work here, my family, my friends, uh, and so I, I leave for two years, and of course I see people, but not on the same daily basis. So coming back was kind of like coming back home. Uh, but it's also somewhat like uh, picking up a novel and opening up in the middle and starting to read the story because a lot of things have happened. Everyone else knows what's happened but me, and so uh, I have to go catch up with uh, with everyone else. Um, but again, since I have uh, I have a good relationship with all the people and and I know the the big picture of the story, um, it it, uh, it it hasn't been too terribly difficult so far. It has been a busy time. Just last week we had nine crew members on board the International Space Station. Can you talk about how you think the inter international cooperation aspect is going? I think the international cooperation is still going very well. So uh, it was great to see people. Uh, we had uh, a, 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 a cosmonaut from uh, Kazakhstan. We had, uh, we had a, a Danish uh, astronaut, um, of course, Russian and American and, uh, and Japanese all on board. So it was great to see all those countries represented. Um, here on the ground, of course, we've had, uh, it's not only the, the partner members of the, of the ISS that are involved. We've had 83 different co countries represented doing research on board the International Station, 83 across the world. That's quite a bit, and doing thousands of investigations. So um, it has been a great international endeavor, and I expect it to continue that way for years to come. Absolutely. And speaking of the science, yesterday was a big milestone, the midway point for Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko as they're um, making their way through this year-long mission. Um, can you talk us a little bit about what, how you think it's gone the last six months and what we can look forward to for the next six well, for me, the first six months have blazed by. I wonder how it is with Scott and Mikhail, <laughs> but they seem to be doing exceptionally well. They're uh, very, very productive on orbit, seem to be very happy. Um, and, and the work they're doing really is, is very important, right? The, the things that they're doing, the, uh, we, we've had um, crew members who stayed about 200 days. is about the longest we've ever had. So here, very, very shortly, they'll be the longest staying crew members ever on ISS. And the amount of data and the quality of the data that we're collecting will be groundbreaking. So it'll be really great to see what happens to the human body uh, during that long period of time. We have a number of experiments. Uh, earlier, you were talking about fluid shifts. I know they just participated in it this week, looking at, uh, at what happens uh, as fluid shifts in the body when you go up in, in microgravity environment. Uh, there's also a twin study looking at what happens uh, happens with uh, with uh, Scott's twin brother here on the Earth and seeing what the difference is between a human body on the ground versus uh, out in space. So all those things are really important because we ultimately want to send humans off the planet for long uh, for long durations, and to get to the next planet is going to be years. So learning what we can on ISS is, is a great pathfinder for putting humans uh, on Mars. Absolutely. The research, of course, is, is a major aspect of all of this. Um, another thing that's really developing, though, is the commercial aspects, and Space Station ha has really been a platform to help enable some of the commercialization. Can you talk a little bit about some of the things that you see coming up in that area as well? Sure. Uh, well, ISS, uh, of course, uh, has has many dimensions working in the commercialization of space. One of the big ones is the commercial resupply of cargo. So uh, we signed a contract years ago with uh, Bo uh, with uh, I'm sorry with SpaceX and Orbital, now Orbital ATK, to fly cargo to the International Space Station. So both of those companies have been successful in doing that. Uh, they also had some difficulties too, but uh, but that's part of uh, the, the the difficulty of our business. So that's an aspect. We're actually in the midst of the second cargo resupply contract, and here uh, very very shortly in the next uh, m month and a half, we'll be announcing the, the uh, uh, a new contract for additional cargo flights um, through the uh, the life of space station. So we're looking forward to that. Um, as you know, also we have commercial crew. Uh, we have a contract with Boeing and with uh, SpaceX to fly crews up to the International Space Station starting in the uh, their first flights are scheduled in 2017 and the first rotation flights in 2018. 
So all those are really important, um, not only for the International Space Station, but really to foster this commercial uh, uh, industry out there for a low Earth orbit. Um, we're also doing quite a few things in terms of uh, research and, uh, and uh, commercial inside the space station. So there's the Center for Advancement of, uh, of, of uh, Science in Space, or CASES, which is responsible of managing, for managing the national lab aspect of the International Space Station. And they're working with a number of private companies um, to do experiments, and not only for the knowledge that they're gained, but also for commercial gain. So uh, I think we really are trying to foster a, uh, a commercial um, industry in low Earth orbit and, and making quite uh, quite good progress. Absolutely, and I know we've covered a lot, but what are you looking most forward to as you embark on this new position? Is there anything in particular that's... You know, the, the thing is, we've been doing research on board International Space Station for years, and what I'm looking forward to is really seeing the fruition of that. So we've had great great experience. We learned a quite, quite a few things, both for NASA's purposes, but for, let's say, for, for humankind uh, as a species. And I'm looking forward to continuing that, actually growing that, and really seeing the results of that. There's been a number of things that we've already done that have had significant benefits here uh, here on the ground. One of the ones that just came out recently, we've... We, um, we, there was an experiment done in Expedition Five, and uh, and it basically was was looking at how to uh, how to purify the air, that uh, that led to a commercial product that's actually used here uh, here on the Earth, in in a number of places, daycares and schools and hospitals. It's also used in the wine industry uh, to help uh, mold from growing down in their wine cellar. So seeing something like that go from an experiment on board ISS to being something that, that people can use all over the planet is, uh, is really amazing. Uh, we have a number of experiments that are going on in, in fundamental science. We have the alpha magnetic spectrometer and now CREAM, which are looking at, uh, at particles of energies that are orders of magnitude greater than can be seen here on Earth. Uh, and we're actually watching them and, and learning about them, learning about the, the origin of our, uh, of our universe and uh, what comes out of that will be really amazing. So all these things I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to not only growing the opportunities for research on board the ISS, but really seeing, seeing how it affects our lives here on the planet. Right, and we just want to remind our viewers that you can see a lot of those um, case studies, if you will, of these success stories of ways that uh, the space station has benefited life on Earth on our website at www.nasa.gov slash station. So with that, thank you again so much for your time. Congratulations on the new position, and we look forward to hearing from you more. Awesome. Thanks very much. Again, that's Kirk Shireman, the new International Space Station Program Manager. This is Mission Control Houston.